Okay, okay. Welcome back to part two of the Roof Design Series with the Red Geek. Yes, I'm your boy, the Red Geek, and today we're gonna carry on from the previous video. And well, let's not waste any time. Let's just get started. Okay, if you're coming back from the previous video, if you remember that, what we did is we just ended up with this frame right with those two three walls and the one one five walls that is the single break wall and the objective of the previous video was to remove everything because i told you basically you start off with an architectural drawing and then the goal is to remove the red dress and end up with this very 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 beautiful piece of drawing that you have on the screen right now what we call the building frame so now as you have seen in the caption of the video today we're going to be focusing on constructing roof lines right and like i told you you know what most architects or most drawings that you're going to get you're going to get these roof lines already put in by the architect but unfortunately some architects like this guy then don't provide the roof lines and you as the engineer might be test to come up with this because you cannot start laying out any trusses or you cannot come up with this type of drawing what we call the engineer's drawing if you do not have any roof lines because as you will see in the series as we go further you cannot come up with this before you come up with this and this drawing is just the structure that you can see in green with the roof lines that you can see in blue and the yellow is just the overhang of the roof and yes i promised you guys that we were gonna do a video where i was going to explain all the elements of a roof and i'm definitely getting there but as for today dude let's just pick up from the previous video because yesterday i was not able to upload this video because the electricity was just like came back and the next thing boom, it went dude that's just how it goes and also dude i'm having to re-record this because the previous video was not nice when it came to the voice projection so i'm trying to edit out the voice and just see what works for us so as we say today we're going to be creating roof lines so what i had done is i'd created them like way beforehand but i just decided yo dude let me just start fresh and do this from scratch with you so that you get to appreciate the process right so for this one i'm going to start you off with the simplest type of roof frame or roof lines whatever that you would want to call it so the first two frames that we have is a gable frame and a simple hip frame and as we discussed yesterday what we have is when you have um, a gable roof this is what we call a gable wall it's just break from the bottom to the top and in this case, you don't see the overhang of the roof. As in, you cannot draw it from the side elevation. As opposed to what we call a simple hip roof now. This is the difference. This is a simple hip roof because you can it's you can see the roof from all sides. You fell. You can see it. this triangular shape is filled in, if you want to call it, from the side as, as opposed to the gable roof. I hope you understand that. So, if you want to create um, roof lines this is the basics let's start off with a gable frame if it's a gable roof simple roof as i told you where you can see the roof from the back and front elevation as shown there 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 ladies and gents and but you cannot see it from the sides this is what you do the first thing that you do is oh even this is the first thing that you do with any type of roof whether it's a simple roof complicated roof or anything first things first go to the external walls to the outermost external walls and offset the lines by 600 and dude this is a given you know it's it's not illuminati it's not african traditional religion inspired it's not even prophet inspired this is what we just do it's 600 so please don't give me them Hey, what you doing is, is this Illuminati 666 six, six type of thing, dude, just offset this by 600, okay? It's as simple as that. And then what I love to do with my roof is that I love to make sure that the overhang is yellow. So like I told you, first step, 
okay just make sure you offset everything by 600 so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I join those lines as well um just, just type in join BAM you see everything turns yellow and uh, let me just show you it's definitely 600 okay okay my okay there we go cuz you see 600 all around it's 600 there we go baby it's 600 now like we said the hip roofs and the gable roofs so if it's a gable roof whether it's this big or it's it could be something like uh very small just like this let's just say this is a house all you gotta do is just make sure you offset this by 600 right yeah just like that they just pretend these are the walls and then that is the overhang okay this is what you do you just offset it by 600 so let's just say we have this two type of houses a very long lunch box dude you could fit in so much you could put some rice beans vegetables chicken eggs gravy uh, yeah, I was about to say soup, but then I was like, yo, dude, it's not soup, it's gravy. You know, you feel gravy, onions and tomatoes. Anyways, okay, that is sick. So, as I was telling you, the basic thing, when you, if it's a gable roof, all you have to do is come to the overhang, go to the midpoint, make sure your object snaps are on, damn, pow, then you come in here, it has to be perpendicular, or... Just shoot right click, look for the midpoint, it will snap. And ladies and gentlemen, once you do that, you have a roof line for your gable roof. You are done. This is the roof line for a gable roof. Same applies. If you were here, what you were going to do is come to the midpoint, then come to the midpoint. You're done. And always remember, your roof spans in the longer direction by the span is that's where you put the roof line in this case this roof line that we've created dude look at this we have something that's similar to a roof you see there's one and two where those lines meet and then it goes straight into the screen that's like a roof line. that's what we call the ridge so this is basically what we term the ridge so a gable roof only has a reach it has nothing else it doesn't have a hip it doesn't have a, I don't know whatever you want to tell me but it only has what we call a reach so gable roofs only have a reach okay so yes let me just turn it out for you this is what we call the ridge when it comes to roofs all right exactly that is good Wow, what if it was a simple hip proof? Let me just show you how to do. So let's just copy this. Uh, let me just copy both so I can show you in both instances what you have to do. Just put a faith there. Just delete this line. Delete this line. So if it's a hip proof where you can see the roof from the side as well, what you definitely have to do is um, first things first, you come to the corners, to the corners of the roof. And then make sure your polar snap is on, snap that at 45. And then what you do is you create a 45 degree angle line that projects 40 at a 45 degree angle. So once you see the green on the screen, that sh just means the line is at 45 degrees. Okay, then you snap that. Then you do the same thing, both this side. Just make sure it's 45. There we go. 45 there we go let's just do this for the other side as well this little one 45 45 45 and what you do is you want to fillet these lines so there you go there you go there you go there you go so this is a rule of thumb whenever you have two hips joining the immediate thing that you do is you draw a rafter okay you draw a rafter and I think this is common sense these two lines 
will meet so all you have to do is join and voila the friends will tell you now you have come up with the most magnificent type of roof the hip roof yes ladies and gentlemen i do speak a little bit of french and then same applies here voila the friends will tell you mademoiselle you have come up with the most amazing top of roof the roof so basically what we did there is we just created our roof lines for a very simple gable roof right and also a very simple hipped roof you feel this is the hip roof once you're gonna see this from the side you will see you see the roof from this side you see the roof from this side you see the roof from this side as well you see the roof in other words your roof slopes in all these directions as for the gable roof your roof only slopes to this side and to this side let's just tell this the front and the back so with the gable roof it only the roof only slopes in two opposite directions only and those two opposite directions will be parallel to the ridge actually they will be perpendicular to the ridge but they will span along the entire ridge okay as for a hip roof your roof will slope in all directions okay it will slope in all directions in this case four directions well it always slopes in four directions but this one is too definite is it if it's northwest it's northwest and then northeast whatever north east west and south so and also what happens is the water slopes um it spans some of its slopes it spans along the ridge that is from here to there some of its slopes or oh, it goes down this is what we call the hip this will be the hip so even in a simple hip roof you still have you still have your reach right and what you have here is now you have the hips these are the hips and basically the hips are what give a roof its structure it's just like a chick the more hips man woo, the more complicated the structure and beautiful the roof is i will definitely show you many pictures just to just to show you like i'm telling you the more the more the more there is when it comes to these hips definitely the more complicated they are but yes this is a simple tutorial i just shown you how to create the roof lines and just forgive me if I, if my energy is a bit low today but yo dude i'm a bit okay but okay my energy is not low i'm good that's the truth i am good so let's just keep it like that i am good and this is amazing so i just showed you how to create roof lines i would love to show you how to create these roof lines but this is a little bit more complicated and but but we're definitely gonna do that maybe i might do that in the next video um who knows i think it's just good that we jump into this but i want to keep this video short and sexy and clear so there we go what did we do we just created um we now have a gable a simple hip frame i don't think i have to copy that but let me just come in so just to recap what happens is you start off with an architectural drawing then you clean it off you remove the red dress you know what i mean you go to second base then you come to the floor plan and just green out the 230 walls gray out the 115 walls and then if it's a gable roof frame all you got to do is go to the center create the line or your ridge and you're done if it's a simple hip frame all you got to do is go to the ends or the extreme corners and you start with your hips always remember if it's a hip roof you got to start with the hips right start with the hips whenever the two hips meet you create a ridge in this case the ridges come from this side and this side and the middle in the middle all you gotta do is join these lines and be the cupid so this is it for part two because i want to keep this short and nice i'm definitely gonna see you in part three and my energy is definitely gonna be a lot lot more much more 
I don't know, on point. Because hopefully, Zessa will be back. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank.